do a 1940s inspired vintage look. If you'd like to see how I achieved this look, stay right there and keep on watching. My failed attempt at pin curling. I don't know what I'm doing and I'm not going to even pretend I know what I'm doing, but it might actually turn out okay. Pretty much I do my makeup similar to this all the time anyway, but I'm going to try to be as accurate as possible. It's inspired, keep in mind, so it's not going to be identical to that style. I've already done my foundation and my concealer, so the next thing I'm going to do is take my e.l.f. high definition powder, which I've had forever, dab it all over. I apologize if that's really loud and I hope you can hear me because that's a loud one more. So just dabbing it in all over my face to set the foundation. The vintage looks were more on the matte side, not really so much dewy. So we're just going to kind of keep it really matte. Keep it simple, keep it matte. I understand they didn't really do contouring and highlighting in the 40s, but just because this is kind of more modern-y, I'm just going to do it. I have this in another video. I take my beige eyeshadow from Avon because it's matte. Now, in the 40s, it was a drastic change from the very thin 1930s eyebrows. Uh, mine, I guess mine are kind of 40s styled. They're very unruly right now. But they were thicker towards the front and thin at the very ends. And they had a very defined arch. My eyebrow pencil and blonde. And I'm just going to fill in and define the brow take my brow kit from Avon and I think this is soft brown soft brown take it on an angled brush and just fill in with the powder My Avon Cream Concealer, and this is the lightest shade, I believe it's fair. Take a concealer brush, and I'm going to clean up those lines around the brow. And then what this will do also is highlight the brow. BH Cosmetics Brow Gel to just clear. I think you can get these in colors, I'm not sure. And I'm just going to set it. Now in the 40s, I think they used like Vaseline or some kind of cream to set their brows, so we're going to do it this way. So I'm taking my vanilla shadow, and I'm going to put that all over my lid. Beige with a pencil brush, and really define the crease. I'm going to blend that out. I'm just going to do a really thin line because that's what they did. Glamorous Blush Palette from BH Cosmetics with my Real Techniques Blush Brush. Mixing this red with that pink and to make like a rosy vintage looking color. And all I'm going to do is do it in like a triangular shape. And it's going to create that old school flushed look. That's what you want to call it. A red brick glimmer stick. Gonna line my lips. And I'm gonna kind of overdraw my cupid's bow a little bit. Start by taking my ultra color lipstick in Scarlet Siren with my lip brush. And kind of outline so I can have a clean edge. <laughs> 